Hello, and welcome back to episode 6 of Silent Hill 2. Last we left off, we were able to uh, escape the hotel uh, from a pyramid head fight, and as well we were able to meet up with some more characters, such as Maria, we now know Laura, and Eddie. And now we are in the um, hospital, and it seems as though we have no way to get anywhere. So... Oh wait, no, there's one more thing down back there. Yes, yeah, so there's one thing that we missed. A door that's here. Yep, and lo and behold, that door is the only door that wants to be open. Oh, God. One thing that's really cool is that we actually have uh, Maria around with us. Um... So that's second floor. Let's just go up all the way and see what all of the options. Oh god, this please don't tell me this area is going to be like a massive. It would make sense because you would want to Okay, well. I'm here. Okay, so that one's locked, but that doesn't mean anything. Yep, okay. We're going to third floor first. I like to go top to bottom. Oh, fuck Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking Jesus. You know what? I... Everyone always talks about... I do not like their voices. It, you know a game is good. Really? Fuck, I do not like their spazzy nature. Do not like those one bit. That is much appreciated. <sighs> Fuck, those guys are scary. Yeah, I think for those guys, I'll try. Unless there's only one of them, I will uh, shoot one of them down first, definitely. Because those guys seem that they're, they're way better at fighting than uh, the guys that we've been up to so far. Like thighs are literally the weakest one in my opinion so far. Um, and then it's the general enemy, like uh, the one with the chest thing. I guess we'll go into here. There's like three doors, but I don't know which one to go into first. Oh. I try to look I try to go to the most unassuming door like the door that would uh not lead uh, like lead to just a small room huh I think that might be a puzzle so we'll leave that door for now so that's locked
Aha, so looking at everything. Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah, that's definitely a puzzle. Thought eighteen seventy three, because this. I don't know. Eighteen seventy-three. It's like a very good year. That's like nineteen eighty-three or whatever. I don't remember what the. How do I get out of here now? <laughs> like a total idiot. Okay, cool. So many places here, but none of them are actual places that you can go into, which is annoying me a bit. But god damn, were those guys effective at scaring me? Hello, I would like to get down. So that was third floor, and uh, fourth floor was locked. So I presume the fourth floor is probably for the end. So then we do everything on th three, one, two, and three in basement. I don't know what enemy it is, but I'd rather be safe than sorry right now. Oh yeah, 100%. One thing that's weird is you can act immediately. I think that's the only one left, so we'll save on ammo now by going on to this. And then beating the. F oh fuck, I can't believe the nurse is still alive. Change our targets to this one. And then beat them to a fucking pole. Until the music goes away. Okay, the music's gone. Whew. Okay, let's go heal. Uh, we'll use a small heal. Okay, cool. What the fuck is it? Um, if it's only one, I can take it on fine. Oh, it's one of these. Well, these things are easy to take out. These are fine. I'm so fucking worried. That something's gonna come out of the shadow where Maria is. Okay. The music is now gone, so let's survey our surroundings a bit more. Okay, so in this one. Okay, we'll see if the. I think that on this floor we will be able to go to where the restroom and the M's are. So I think we will go try to go into here first because this one uh, doesn't have too many rooms in it. Okay, so the lock is broken so we can't go into that area at all. Which is fine. 
can't go into there either. And the button doesn't move because we need to have the power on or something. Um, I believe that's where we came in. No, it isn't. Um, cool. Which means we can go in there. Unless it's locked, okay. Okay, so this one's open. Okay. Okay. Is there anything in here that's interactable? So I'm uh, uh Maria. Examination room key, there we go. So we had to go into that. Okay. And this one's also open, which is great for us. Oh! A doll! Oh, a cutscene, great! Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah. Maybe one of the nurses can patch you up. Hmm. Oh shit! Sh fucking shotgun, you two. It's insane. Okay, wow. We've gotten a lot of good stuff now. Um. Let's look at everything we've gotten. Can we... No, okay. So that's a wooden plank. So we've literally been beating people over the head with the wood. Examination room key. And a bent needle. So that kind of looks like a hook. So we probably will use it as a hook. Because that's usually how game design goes. Um, nurse's station we haven't checked yet. Um, maybe we can go through in the day room through that area. That would make sense. Examining room three. Uh, this is the third floor. Um, okay. That's a roof. Okay. Okay. So let's go down and look down at the lower floor. So there's examining room two. Okay. I wonder if the examining room door is one of these ones then. One of the ones that lead to them anyway. We can leave here now though. I can't believe we got fucking pricked by a nail. That would have to be not like hurt a little. Did we already go through this door, I wonder? <laughs> I I love this. Ha <laughs> ha great. <laughs> Not intimidating at all. Thank God for the goddamn radio. I would be fucking so intimidated in this place if there wasn't one. Hey, typewriter. Are we going to save our progress like in Resident Evil?
Um, okay, there's a code. Let me go get a pencil and a piece of paper. We all know how these work. You write them down, and then two seconds later... Uh, it's either two seconds later that it's, like, relevant, or it's something where it's, like, way down the line. Um, so, eight, five, three, seven... Okay, I have that written down. Eight five three seven. So that's for a box. Um So that gave us a clue. Thank god there's only one. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? At least they came one at a time. The other one hasn't noticed us yet, actually. So we can back off a little bit, see if she gets back up. She's bleeding. So now we can move our way up. Bait a swing. We'll wait until she comes over here. Because we don't want... We don't want for her to... Like, if there's another person there, we don't want two nurses being on us at once because we really can't handle too many enemies on us at once. Also, goddamn the sounds that they make scare the fuck out of me. I really don't like them. <laughs> oh, God. It's just the way they come out of the darkness as well. So fucking unnerving. Okay. Also, why is the mini skirt so fucking short? I know the answer. But why is it? Okay, we can just uh, mash the circle button now. Hopefully, this is all for this area, unless until we go into a room. Because I'd really fucking hate it if I had to deal with like even another enemy that isn't a nurse would be okay. But like, damn, the amount of nurses in this damn hospital makes sense though. Like, at least it's on point. I also really don't like how you can't really tell. if there's another creature or not, because it only does the noise, you know what I mean? Like, it only does the noise, it doesn't like do the noise, but it get, does a different noise if there's multiple creatures or something. Guess we'll go in one by one. Fuck you, you're getting the gun. That's enough bullets. Yeah, I don't want to use every single bullet I have. Gotcha. Fucking movie, uh, just sitting there, just like, I think I got blood in my hair. Meanwhile, me fucking shitting myself because there's a goddamn nurse in this room. <sighs> so nice. So nice when you don't have to deal with them. I'm gonna heal now. Um, reload this. We have 51 bullets, that's good. Uh, 61 total, and we have, uh, shotgun shells. And more bullets, that's really good. Oh, that's shotgun shells, so that's actually really good too, because that means there are... Uh, and medicine, that's also really good. Health drink. Okay. This one was this was a good room to go into. I'm really, uh, really happy about that one. 
Why are the... Oh, they're just barred. Looks like this one is broken. Looks like this one is broken. Looks like this one is broken. Let's look at the map here real quick. Okay, so we've been able to go into that one. So there's four more rooms in this area, and we still haven't used the examination room key yet. We're doing pretty good. Do I? No, I want to. I would. I want to make good use. Fuck. He moves so sl uh, slow with the uh, wooden thing that it's kind of hard to really capitalize on it. But yeah, when there's only one nurse uh, and you only take with one point of damage, it's so much nicer. Like it's... You still have to deal with like the fight or flight response, but like it feels so much nicer when you know that it's gonna do well. Also, I really don't like that the head is so spoingy. Oh, there's handgun bullets there as well. I guess these are just rooms uh, for shit, so then you don't, like, get, like, because these enemies are tough, um, and they do throw two of them, generally, in the hallways. Um, so I guess it's kind of, like, meant to be, like, just in case, you know, the player, like, they don't want to really dick over the player. Like, they still want the game to be fair to a degree. Especially because this is only the second area. There's probably going to be way scarier enemies later on. That are like, re like you need to have a gun or something. So, it's good that uh, right now we're really getting the chance to use melee or use guns. Lapsus eye key and shotgun shells. So we've got another key. This is what I mean. I really like fully exploring an area before... Uh, I open anything. It's really the Zelda gamer. Wait. Wait. No. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. What? Why is there squishy sounds? Why is there squishy sounds? There really shouldn't be squishy sounds. Let's just leave. That sounds like a great idea. <sighs> okay. And we can just go back down to the first floor and be a little more relieved. Uh, actually, first, let's look on the items we have. Let's have a health drink. So, we have a lapis eye key. So, a lapis lazuli. Angela, that's her name. Uh, examination room is written on the tag. Uh, and then we have a rusty needle as well. So there'll be something that we have to hook or something like that. And we can't go down there. Okay, cool. Back to the first floor. We have explored this place uh, a good amount now. I think Pyramid Head is nearby, because I'm hearing sleepy sounds, and that typically happens when that motherfucker is about to beat my ass. Um, let's go and look at the room. Okay, so, oh, examination room. We see it. Uh, excuse me, Maria. Thank you, thank you. So, we need to go in here. Here we go. A 
I really don't like this music. Um, so I guess we can just open this now. Okay. Uh, I don't know why we needed a roundabout way to get around. And it didn't really look like we got anything from that. Um, so I'm a little confused as to the reasons why we had to do that. Is there something I missed? Doesn't seem like it. So you can't go through that room either. said something else. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess we'll try going into the document room. Uh, and then going into the sea floor rooms. Uh, also, because it would be a good point to save now as well. So apparently this is a door. And I'm just going to walk in place. Something's written on it. The potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven like him to the other side. The other side, also known as the upside down, perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there's no wall between here and there. It lies on the boundaries where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distance. distant. Uh, some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them, even though... Uh, I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true to, uh, that to us, his imaginings are nothing more but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there's simply no other reality. Furthermore, he is happy there. So I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Something else is written by hand. I got the key from Joseph. It's probably the key to that box. Purple Bull Key. Ah. Oh. So this must be something important then. So Joseph, I think, was one of the patients, it was saying. So we now have a, a key to a box of his, I think. At least it seems like that. Oh, Marie is not following us. Maybe they're right behind us or something. But uh, that will end off this episode of Silent Hill 2. I hope you all enjoyed me being a little bitch because goddamn are those enemies actually scary. But have a lovely day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.